Greetings fellow language learning nerds. Welcome to a little language update video. I hope you don't mind me going on for a little bit about some of the things that have been happening recently in my language learning life. Yeah. Firstly, uh, I mentioned in my last Japanese diary video, which is just a video, it's just a little video in which I just try my best to speak Japanese. Uh, but I mentioned there that I wanted to go to a big bookshop and uh, check out the Japanese books there and I did it. I went to the Big Foils bookshop on Charing Cross Road to have a little nosy at their lovely language department and my main goal was to try and find a kanji dictionary. The kanji book I'm currently using is sooner rather than later. It's going to run out of kanji to teach me I'm currently at, I think, like 424 out of 512. So I still got a bit of time left, but still, I was hoping to pick something up so that uh, as soon as I finished that, I could just smoothly go into another book. So that was my goal, basically. The good news for my wallet was that I couldn't find a kanji dictionary. <laughs> Uh, I had a look through the ones that were there, but none of them really felt right to me. I feel like that's important. Even if you can't exactly put your finger on it, I feel like if you're going, go, if you're looking through a book, a language book, it should feel right. When you, that makes no sense. That makes no sense. This, this is not science. This is just book feeling, <laughs> which is a real thing. I promise. <laughs> anyway, the bad news for my wallet is that they did have volume one of a manga series that I didn't already have so yay so I own this now <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's volume one of Kimetsu no Yaiba or Demon Slayer <laughs> I mentioned in my last video that I wanted to have a little collection of volume ones of like lots of different manga um, however Demon Slayer is one of those series that I like it enough that I'm seriously considering that one day I would like to try and get the, the full set. So yeah, couldn't resist picking this one up. There was also some volumes of a manga called Ototo no Otto, uh, My Brother's Husband, um, but they didn't have volume one unfortunately, so I didn't end up picking it up. Um, I, have, I haven't read or watched it before, but I'd heard good things about it, so I'm interested in the series. There was a moment when I was in the when I saw it on the bookshelf, uh, and my I immediately was like, ooh! But then I realised there wasn't volume one, so that turned into an ah. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so maybe one day in the future I'll try and grab that one. More bad news for my wallet. Disappointed that I couldn't find a kanji dictionary. I was having a nosy at the other language books, and I ended up picking myself up another vocabulary book. Yay! <laughs> Having mentioned before about the kanji books not feeling right, this felt right as I was looking through it and I felt like I really wanted it. I'm going to try and give you um, a little better look at the language book that I bought. So this is its cover. Uh, it is above my level. Ignore that, just like I did <laughs> when I bought it. And um, yeah, inside you can see um, you've got your vocabulary down the side here and then example sentences uh, just next to it. It's very simple but it feels really nice, like it feels nice to hold, you know? Um, and, oh I just had it, but it also every now and again, where, where is it? Every now and again there's uh, a little kind of extra um, like diagram. There you go, with extra vocabulary on that little topic, which is kind of nice and cute. I quite liked it. Like that street themed stuff. Um, I think, oh, there was another one. The body, things like that. Ah. <laughs> um, yeah, I just really, I just really, really liked it. So it's why I picked it up. Oh, here we go. Here's your random vocabulary. Uh, Japanese vocabulary of the, of the day. Uh, random Japanese vocabulary of the day. <laughs> if I can get my words right. Uh, shitty means butt. Means butt. Shitty. I always remember it because it sounds a bit like silly, and I always think, uh, you have a silly butt. I don't have a silly butt, you have a silly butt. Uh, childish mind aside, 
yeah, I just really liked this. The feel and the look is my god. Oh, oh, and um, one thing I didn't realise until I got this home, but it made me happy. Um, yeah, if you haven't seen uh, books that come with this uh, kind of red thing, um, if you notice, um, so you've got the Japanese written in black, but then the explanations are written in red. And if you put this red thing over it, Oh, it disappears! Oh, it's magic! Ooh, spooky language news! <laughs> I'm sorry. That's, yeah, okay. That's just a look into the book that I bought recently. <laughs> okay, back to regular me. I can't be buying more vocabulary books. I gotta stop buying, start using them. <laughs> the story of my language learning life. But speaking of vocabulary, uh, I did come across a nifty language learning tool thanks to a recent video from Lindy. Now, if you've looked up language learning videos on YouTube before, you've probably come across her videos, perhaps. But just in case you haven't, Lindy makes videos on things like language learning tips, language learning motivation, um, and videos on her own journey to learning 12 languages. No, you didn't hear that wrong. She's learning 12 of them. <laughs> Here I am just trying to learn one extra language and maybe another one so very, very casually. Lindy, Lindy, you're tiring me out. I need to lie down. I jest, but I do really love her channel and highly recommend it to anyone who's in interested in learning languages. As I said, thanks to uh, a recent video from her, I found this uh, language learning tool that she showed off called Toucan. It's an extension that you add to Chrome. I th think they're making extensions for other browsers, but I'm, I'm not too sure. Toucan's job is basically to change random words on, say, websites that you're browsing into words of your target language just to try and increase the frequency in which you come across words in your target language. They have a few languages, though of course the only one I was interested in was uh, Japanese. It just seems so handy. Uh, there have been plenty of apps that I've tried to use to help me learn Japanese, but I use it for about a day and then I kind of forget about it and then that hasn't helped me at all. And that's all on me, not the app, like, <laughs> the app is there, I'm just not using it. <laughs> but with Toucan, once you kind of set it up, which is really easy to set up, but once it's set up, it's just there, I don't have to do anything. Like the next day when I switched on my laptop, it was just automatically there, and I was like, oh yeah, Toucan! And yeah, that just, that's so convenient. <laughs> I've noticed it already on several websites that I've been using. It's just there working on my laptop. Um, so I'm really kind of hopeful that it will help me get some new vocabulary to uh, stick in my head. It's just brand new to me, but I just got a very good impression of it. Hence why I wanted to talk about it. From the 15th of September, um, my Japanese classes will start up again, yay! Uh, uh, actually, I think by the time when this video comes out, it, they would have already started. So, Japanese classes have already started! Yay! <laughs> so yeah, it looks like we'll be back into the physical classroom rather than the Zoom classes that we've been having for like over a year now. And even though it's just a simple one evening a week deal, um, I'm still very excited to uh, head back into class and to organise my bag with my stationery and my notebook. I do love stationery. When I went to Loft in Japan, I remember getting very happy when I went to the uh, stationery section because it was quite large. And then I remember also getting really excited when I found out they had like these small little baskets just for your, just to put your little stationery in. <laughs> I was getting very hyper about that. I miss Loft. I want to go stationary shopping there again. All that to say that I'm looking forward to getting back to Japanese class so I can organize my stationery and learn Japanese. Looping all the way back to the beginning of the video, uh, I need 
a new manga to uh, start reading. I know I said that I had bought uh, Demon Slayer recently, but there's actually a few that I have that I could choose as my kind of next manga reading project. So I have a few to choose from. I don't know which one to choose yet. <laughs> okay, as I said, uh, I got Demon Slayer. There's um, Princess Jellyfish, uh, Azumanga, Dio. Oh, that's the second. What? What? Just, 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 just ignore that. Fairy Tale. I've got um, My Hero Academia, Full Metal Alchemist, my favourite. And I've even got Death Note to possibly dive into. There are a few things to consider, perhaps before just picking one and diving in. Uh, I may automatically want to dive into the Format and Alchemist one, but there may be a lot of vocabulary in there that just isn't applicable to real life. So the only time I will ever need them is when I'm reading Format and Alchemist. Um, and I could dive straight into Azumanga Daya, which is a more real life setting. Um, but then again, it's a school setting and I'm not really in school anymore. I've left that life behind. I'm eventually going to read all of them. <laughs> it's just a case of which do I read first. Okay, so those were the main things recently that have been happening in my language learning life. Uh, you know, apart from the actual sitting down and studying bits. Uh, thank you so much for uh, listening to me natter on. I really do appreciate it. Um, hopefully I'll catch you in the next video. Uh, but for now, may your grammar be structured and your vocabulary varied. <laughs> Bye!